My name is Bree Fisher, and I'm an exception educator in Rancho County. And I'm so excited for today's Wiggle Wednesday. We are going to focus on our hands. We've talked and learned about our hands um, back in June, and we're gonna do it again today. If you remember last time, I'm not sure if it was any of the same participants, but last time we learned some sign language using our hands, and today we're gonna learn some more sign language. We're also gonna do a few exercises, and I think it's gonna be really fun. So to start, I wanna just jump right in with some American Sign Language and signing the word hello. Since we're beginning our Wiggle Wednesday, I want us to sign hello together. You sign hello by taking your dominant hand, and mine is my right hand, I use that one a lot, putting it up by your eyebrow straight and moving it outwards. Can you all try it? This is how you sign hello in American Sign Language. Perfect, you got it. Another thing that I wanna say is 4-H because we are all a part of 4-H and I think it is a great thing to know how to sign. You do this by putting the number four with the letter H. So in American Sign Language, the number four is all four of your long fingers up with your thumb tucked in. And then the letter H is taking your two first long fingers, putting them together and moving them sideways. That's the letter H in American Sign Language. So now together we can all say hello for H. Hello, 4-H. Perfect. Maybe try it one more time. Hello, 4-H. Hello, 4-H. Well done. I want to give you some applause, which is clapping, but in American Sign Language, you can also take your hands, palm out, and put them back and forth. That's showing someone applause. Well done. Okay. Now I think we should warm our bodies up because we're going to do some exercising and it's really important that we are warmed up. So if you're sitting down, you might want to stand up because the first thing we're going to do is take our hands and reach up to the ceiling 10 times to get some of our wiggles up. You can do it along with me, big stretches. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Perfect. Now you can wiggle your hands a little bit, wiggle your fingers a little bit. Now let's try and do five toe touches. You're going to take your hands and touch your toes five times. One, two, three, four, five. Well done. Okay, now our bodies are warmed up. Our hands are warmed up. I want to get us practicing some more sign language and then doing some exercises. What we have to do first is learn to count to five in American Sign Language. You can follow along with me. One finger up is the number one. Two fingers up is the number two. Three is adding your thumb. Yep, slide your thumb out. That's American Sign Language for three. Four, we already learned. You remember four from 4-H? And then five is your thumb out, all five digits. So that's one through five. Okay, now I wanna learn how to say number so that we can sign number one, number two. So the sign for number in American Sign Language uses both hands pinched together, kind of like they're kissing, and twist them. This is American Sign Language for number. So now we can say number one, or we can say number two. Number three was with your thumb, number four, and number five. Well done, you are learning so quickly. Okay, I wanna add one more thing so that we can say a full sentence here. And this word is the sign for exercise. It looks exactly like you're exercising. 
it kind of looks like you're lifting weights. You're gonna take your hands like you're carrying really heavy weights and press them up and down, showing off your muscles. This is American Sign Language for exercise. Perfect. So now we're gonna put some of that all together and we're gonna start our exercises. So you can follow along with me. Here is exercise number one. This is exercise number one. And this is gonna be doing some big arm circles. So take your arms and move them all around as wide as you can. You can start by doing it slowly. Maybe you're feeling energetic. Maybe you wanna make those arm circles quickly. Making sure you're not bumping into your neighbor or any furniture. Perfect. The way to sign arm and circle would be putting out one of your arms, taking your other arm and showing it off. Gently like rubbing it up and down. It's like you're showing off your arm. That's a sign for arm. And then circle is using two fingers, one point and making a circle back to that point. All right, so we just did exercise number one, arm circles. Let's move on to exercise number two. Can you sign exercise number two with me? Exercise number two. This one is gonna be kicking. Make sure you're not kicking anybody in the room or kicking any furniture. But let's start by slowly kicking our legs up. Kind of stretch them out. You can kick your right leg. You can kick your left leg. You can do little kicks or big kicks. We can also learn the American Sign Language sign for kick. You can make the sign for kick by using both hands, putting them flat, one on top of the other. And then the bottom one, swings down and comes up, kind of like you're kicking, kind of like a foot would kick a ball. So we just did exercise number two, and it was kick. All right, we're gonna move on to exercise number three. Sign it with me. Exercise number three with your thumb. One, two, three. This one is jumping. We're gonna do big jumps up and down. Jump as high as you can. Whoa, I see some huge jumps on the screen. When you jump, you can raise your hands in the air. You can try and jump on just one foot. Well done. Let's learn the American Sign Language sign for jump. You're gonna take one hand, lay it flat, like it's the floor or the ground. You're gonna take your other hand with two fingers like their legs, and then you're gonna jump up and down. Perfect. That's the American Sign Language sign for jump or jumping. So now, we just did exercise number three, and it was jumping. All righty, we have two more. Remember, we're gonna do five, so we have two more. Let's do exercise number four. We can sign it together. Exercise number with your fingers together, four. This one, is something I love to do in the summertime. And you can probably guess it by my movements. It's swimming. This is also the sign for swim or swimming in American Sign Language. This means swimming. So for exercise, you can do some big arm strokes, like you're splashing in the water. You can try and do your arms backwards, like you're floating backwards.
Perfect. And now you know the sign language sign too. This means swim or swimming. Just by moving your hands and arms. So we did exercise number four and that was swimming. Last but not least, let's do exercise number five together. We're going to sign exercise number five. All right. This one does not look like what it is. Let's see. You're going to take your hands, make an L, which is using your finger and your thumb straight out. You're going to hook one of the fingers to the other thumb like this. Let me show you again, because that's a tricky one. Hook one of the fingers to the thumb. So it kind of looks like this. And then that first finger kind of swoops out. You got it. This is American Sign Language sign for run or running. So you know what we're gonna do. We're gonna do exercise number five and it means you're gonna run as fast as you can in the spot that you're in. Run so fast. You can raise your hands, you can raise your knees. Oh, I see some people really, they're fast. I can tell from the camera. I see you all running. That is so great. Keep going. Get your knees really high. Whoa, well done. I'll give you some more applause for that. That was super impressive. We just did exercise number five, and that was running. Whew. I am warm from all that exercising. I think we should take a few deep breaths to kind of calm down our heart rate and to relax a little bit. And I'm gonna show you the American Sign Language sign for taking a deep breath. You take your hands towards your chest, move them out and in while you breathe like this. Let's do that together maybe three times. One, two, three. Thanks for breathing with me. That was the American Sign Language sign for deep breath. We learned so many things here together. We learned our numbers one through five. We learned exercise. We learned swimming. We learned kicking. We learned running. Uh, what, jumping. We learned how to sign arm and circle. In the very beginning, we learned how to sign hello and 4-H. 4-H. We have done a lot of learning here today. I really like learning American Sign Language because it's a way to communicate by just using your hands. And I think it's so cool. So I hope that all of you continue to learn new signs and you can teach your friends, you can teach your family, and it's a great way to communicate with something super easy. Every day, if you learn a few more signs, by the end of the year, you will know how to communicate so much with your hands. And I think that's pretty cool. Thanks for joining today for Wiggle Wednesdays. We learned all about our hands. And next week, we're gonna learn another one of the four H's, and it's going to be health. I hope that you join. Thank you, everybody. Have a great rest of your day.